How to use Ansible magic variable in Ansible playbook. I'm going to show you a live demo and some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome to today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Ansible magic variable. How to use Ansible magic variable in Ansible playbook. The good news is that Ansible provides some internal variables that come out of the box with some information such as a running Ansible version, inventory detail or execution option. The full list is available in the official Ansible website. But these are the most interesting ones. At least, for example, the playbook directory, the inventory directory or inventory file, inventory host name, and if uh, we are using Ansible check mode or Ansible diff node, Ansible version, and so on and so forth. Demo time. How to use Ansible magic variable in Ansible playbook? Let's see in action some of the most common Ansible magic variable in an Ansible playbook. Wait a minute, where could you find the Ansible special variable full list? Well, on the official Ansible documentation, there is a long list of all the available magic variables and what they mean. This is great and uh, I hope that is very useful. So take a look on this long list and decide what you need and when. These are Ansible internal variables that you can use in your everyday journey. Yay! All of this! Welcome to my editor. I'm going to show you one simple Ansible playbook to print it out some Ansible magic variable. So first of all, let's begin our YAML document and uh, Ansible play with uh, a name magic vars demo that is going to be executed again host all of my inventory. Let me specifically disable facts gathering because we don't need any fact system information or facts from the target machine. We just need to run the code and Ansible use this internal variable by magic. Yes, so let's start our task list with name magic variable and for printed out on screen, we are going to use ansible.builtin.degabug module. We are going to print it out uh, a lot of variables, so let me use a loop. So on the var parameter, let me specify item. Now, let's start the loop with a long list of items. First is ansible config file the full path of used Ansible configuration file, then playbook underscore dir, the path to the directory of the playbook that was passed to the Ansible playbook command line, inventory d, dir, the directory of the inventory source in which the inventory host name was first defined, inventory file, the file name of the inventory source in which the inventory host name was, was first defined. Ansible check mode, boolean that indicate if we are in the check mode or not. Ansible diff mode, boolean that indicate if we are in the diff mode or not. Ansible forks, integer reflecting the number of maximum forks available for this run. Ansible verbosity, current verbosity setting for Ansible and inventory underscore hostname. This is uh, the inventory name for the current host being iterated over in a play. The next one is Ansible underscore play underscore hosts. That is the list of hosts in the current play run. Not limited by the serial, failed unreachable hosts are excluded from this list. And last, Ansible underscore version, dictionary map that contain information about the current running version of Ansible. It has the following key, full, major, minor, revised, 
revision and string. But now the best way is to run the code and see us the result of execution. Welcome on my terminal. Let me execute the playbook against my demo machine. So let's run together Ansible dash playbook command dash e is my inventory file and then uh, the name of my ansible playbook and the variable magic yml the execution is super fast and we got an ok status in the play recap as you can see line by line we have uh, all the ansible magic variable that uh, we would like to see the value for each variable there is a variable name and uh, the value so there are more uh, some file system related path uh, like for example playbook dir or uh, uh, inventory file and more about integer like for example ansible fork or ansible version other are like for example hostname for for using ansible underscore play host or ansible inventory so all a bunch of information are stored in the Ansible magic variable. These are Ansible internal variable that you can use as you wish and they really simplify your day-to-day -day workflow. Now you know how to use the Ansible magic variable in Ansible playbook. Yay! Good result! Thank you for watching this lesson and I hope that it was useful for you and now you have a better understanding of Ansible internal variable and how to use to succeed your everyday automation. Have a great day, see us on the next Ansible pilot lesson, yay! This video is part of our Ansible automation program, sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.